Picture this. You're sitting in your favorite coffee shop, the aroma of fresh espresso in the air, the gentle hum of conversation all around you. Maybe you're catching up on emails, working on a big project, or just browsing the web, feeling productive and comfortable in this familiar, bustling environment. Suddenly, without warning, every laptop screen in the room flickers and goes black. Confused voices ripple through the crowd as people look up, startled and unsure of what just happened. But here's the strange part. The overhead lights are still shining, the coffee machine is still whirring, and the music hasn't missed a beat. Everything else is working perfectly, except for the computers. This isn't your typical power outage. What you're witnessing is a targeted digital attack, orchestrated by someone sitting quietly in the same room. They haven't touched anyone else's device, but with just their own laptop, they've managed to take down every computer in the cafe. It might sound like a scene from a high-tech thriller, but this is a real risk that exists in any public space offering open Wi-Fi. Coffee shops, airports, libraries, anywhere people gather and connect, the threat is lurking. The scary part? A hacker doesn't need your password, your device, or even to be anywhere near you. All they need is to be connected to the same public Wi-Fi network as you. Every day, millions of people log onto public Wi-Fi networks, often without a second thought. We trust these networks because they're convenient but most of us have no idea just how vulnerable we really are. The attack is silent. No alarms, no warning signs. It happens in seconds, exploiting the trust and convenience we place in these shared networks. By the time you realize something's wrong, it's already too late. Connecting to that free underscore cafe underscore Wi-Fi might seem harmless, but it could be like stepping into a digital minefield where one wrong move exposes your entire digital life. And it's not just about shutting down your computer. If someone can force a remote shutdown, they might also be able to access your private files, steal your passwords, or secretly install malware that keeps spying on you long after you leave the cafe. That sudden shutdown? It's just the tip of the iceberg, a warning sign that your digital defenses have been breached and your personal information could be wide open to attack. The real danger is what happens next. Once a hacker is inside your system, the possibilities are endless and none of them are good. That's why understanding how these attacks work is so important. Knowledge is your first line of defense. By learning the risks and how to spot them, you can take steps to protect yourself and your data. This isn't science fiction or some distant threat. It's happening right now, in places you visit every day. Consider this your wake-up call to the hidden dangers of public Wi-Fi. So, how does this kind of attack actually work? Let's break it down and see exactly how hackers can turn a simple coffee shop visit into a digital nightmare. Before we go further, remember this video is for education and awareness only. We're here to help you defend yourself, not to encourage illegal activity. Trying these attacks on computers you don't own is a crime with serious consequences. Our goal is to empower you with knowledge so you can spot and stop threats. The techniques we'll discuss are well known in cybersecurity circles. By understanding them, you can better protect your own devices. When the public is aware software gets patched and users get safer, so as you watch, think like an ethical hacker. How would you defend against these attacks? Use this knowledge to build a stronger digital defense. Let's dive in. So what's a remote shutdown really? It's when someone sends a command over the network that tells your computer to turn off. No password, no physical access needed at all. Most people don't realize their systems are vulnerable to this. Many attacks exploit network features enabled by default for convenience like file sharing. These features, meant for trusted home networks, become dangerous on public Wi-Fi. Hackers look for services that trust other devices on the network, then send a shutdown command your computer thinks is legitimate. Your laptop, still set up for home, trusts strangers on public Wi-Fi. That misplaced trust is exactly what attackers exploit. Let's look at how they do it. Let's talk about a classic cyber attack that's been around for years, but still catches people off guard targeting Windows SMB protocol, which is used for sharing files and printers across networks. Even though it's old, this trick is surprisingly effective, especially in environments where security hasn't kept up with the times. The culprit here is SMB v1, the original version of the protocol. It's been known for years to be insecure, yet you'd be surprised how many organizations and home users still have it enabled by default, simply because they never updated their settings or didn't realize the risk. Hackers take advantage of this by scanning local networks for any computers that have SMBV1 open, focusing on port 445, which is the main entry point for SMB traffic. This port is like an open door, 
and if it's not locked down, anyone can walk right in. Once a vulnerable machine is found, attackers don't need any fancy hacking tools. They can use simple, built-in Windows commands to remotely shut down the computer. It's shockingly easy. No malware, no downloads, just a few keystrokes. The command they use is straightforward. Shut down per S per me computer name slash T0. This tells the target computer to shut down immediately without warning or delay. If your firewall isn't set up to block SMB requests and you still have SMB v1 enabled, your computer will simply follow the command, no questions asked. It's like leaving your front door unlocked and hoping no one tries the handle. In a public place like a coffee shop or shared office, a hacker could automate this process, scripting it to target every vulnerable computer on the network. In seconds, dozens of machines could be forced to shut down at once. The result? Instant chaos. Work is interrupted, unsaved data is lost, and users are left confused and frustrated. For businesses, this can mean lost productivity and even potential data corruption. This attack is only possible because of outdated protocols and poor security practices. Legacy systems and old habits are often the weakest links in your security chain. If you haven't taken the time to disable SMBV1 on your computers, you're leaving yourself open to this simple but devastating attack. It only takes a few minutes to fix, but the consequences of ignoring it can be severe. Don't let old software and forgotten settings be your downfall. Update your systems, disable legacy protocols, and make sure your firewall is doing its job. Stay one step ahead of the old school tricks that still work today. Another method uses a simple batch script and Netcat, a tool for sending data over networks. The hacker creates a batch file, just one line, shut down per S per F slash T0. Netcat is set up to deliver this file to any computer that connects. The attacker tricks a victim into running the file, maybe through a malicious link or by exploiting another vulnerability. Once the file is on the victim's system, it's executed instantly, forcing a shutdown. In a group setting, this can be automated to hit multiple machines at once. It's fast, flexible, and doesn't rely on a single protocol. The key is getting the victim to run the file, often through social engineering. Stay alert for suspicious links or files, especially on public networks. For more advanced attacks, hackers use devices like the Wi-Fi Pineapple. This gadget impersonates trusted Wi-Fi networks, tricking your device into connecting automatically. Once connected, all your internet traffic flows through the attacker's device. They can inject malicious code into websites you visit, silently delivering a shutdown payload. You won't notice anything until your computer suddenly powers off. The Pineapple can also force devices off legitimate Wi-Fi, hurting them onto its rogue network. Once everyone's connected, the attacker can target all devices at once. It's a powerful, automated way to take down every computer nearby. The best defense? Avoid open Wi-Fi and use a VPN whenever possible. Don't let your device auto-connect to public networks. Awareness is your first line of defense. The good news? Protecting yourself online doesn't have to be complicated or overwhelming. With just a few simple steps, you can dramatically reduce your risk and keep your personal information safe from prying eyes. First, always keep your system updated. Those regular software updates and security patches aren't just annoying pop-ups, they're essential. They fix the very flaws and vulnerabilities that hackers are constantly searching for. By staying up to date, you're closing doors before attackers can even find them. Next, make sure your firewall is turned on. This acts as a digital barrier, blocking unwanted traffic and keeping your data safe. When you're on public networks, set your firewall to be extra strict. It's a simple step that adds a powerful layer of protection. If you're using Windows, disable SMBV1 in your settings. This old protocol is rarely needed today and is a favorite target for cyber criminals. Turning it off closes another potential entry point. Be cautious with Wi-Fi. Avoid connecting to open, unsecured networks whenever possible, especially in public places like cafes or airports. These networks are easy targets for attackers looking to intercept your data. If you absolutely must use public Wi-Fi, always connect through a VPN. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it much harder for anyone to spy on your online activity or steal your information. Don't forget to tell your computer to forget old public networks. This prevents your device from automatically reconnecting to risky hotspots without your knowledge. Use free network scanning tools to regularly check which devices are connected to your home Wi-Fi and what ports are open. This helps you spot anything unusual, like an unknown device or a port you didn't open. If you ever notice something suspicious, like strange activity or unexpected pop-ups, don't hesitate. Disconnect from the internet immediately. It's better to be safe and investigate than to risk a breach. Remember, awareness is your best weapon. 
Simply knowing these threats exist and understanding how to defend against them will change how you behave online. Stay alert, stay informed, and always be proactive rather than reactive. Finally, share this video with someone you care about. The more people who know how to protect themselves, the safer we all become. Stay safe out there and keep your digital life secure.